Hey, it's Grab and Go. I'm going to show you how you can pre-cook some meals for the week, an entree, and do keto. Some great recipe ideas. First, I'm going to start with, I bought uh, 10 pork chops for $10. That makes them a dollar a piece. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to use is going to be these pork rinds. I'm going to crush them up in this little blade thing here and make like a crust for them. And again, this is going to be good for keto because when you turn it over on the back and you look at it, there are no carbs. I'm going to use heavy whipping cream. That's what I'm going to be dipping it in. You could also use eggs. All right, so let's get started. Let me show you how to make a few different meals that are really easy and really tasty that you can pre-prep with for the week. Also, you can do this very similar recipe with chicken. Okay, so starting with the chopper right here, I'm going to take the lid off. And this is what you see on the inside. So I've chopped these up. I am going to chop up a few more. But that is going to be my crust right there. Mission accomplished. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab a pork chop. Um, go right here. Dip it in. This is heavy whipping cream. You can also use eggs. As expensive as eggs are right now, though, I'm finding it cheaper to do some of my recipes, like where I'm having to dip things for chicken or for this. I'm finding it just as easy, really, to use the heavy whipping cream and save some money while I'm at it. So I'm just going to lay this on here, kind of poking through there to help get it coated. Um, this is similar to some of the products that you buy at the grocery store where you can, um, I don't want to say their names, but hey, they're not paying me, so is there any reason not to? I like shake and bake. Um, yeah, I'm not competing with anyone or no company has me working for them, so I can say shake and bake. Now, I didn't put a whole lot on this one. But I'm just kind of giving you the idea of how to do this. And shake and bake may have carbs in it. I'm pretty sure it uses um, some carbs in there. But using pork rinds is really good. Gives it a good flavor. Now what I'm going to do, I sprayed this pan with a cooking spray. So I'm going to slide these over. I'm going to make room for this one here. Put it in there. You could probably also try this with fish. This is going to go in the oven on 350 for about uh, 25 minutes or so. I'm going to check them in 20 minutes and just go from there to see how they're doing. So fry them, which is what I have going on here. And for this, it's just a plain uh, pork chop. It has garlic, salt, and pepper on both sides. I cooked it with a little bit of canola oil. You could use butter. I use canola oil. And this one here is the one that I coated earlier with the pork rinds, the one that's on the right, and you see that nice crust. Okay, so I'm going to take a fork right here and flip it over for you so you can see it. This is the other side, and again, it's nothing but pork rinds. I added some black pepper to it. On top, as you can see, the black pepper in there and a little bit of... Uh, I used a little bit of garlic salt on this as well. I didn't really need to because the pork rinds have salt. I could have just done the black pepper. Uh, this one here has a lot of black pepper and some garlic salt. And this is the other side of this one. Yeah. I'm also making some spinach to go with it, which will be great. I am not doing keto at the moment, but I would like to try. So this right here is just a way for me to try to make some healthier dinners. As you can see, I did add some butter to these before they go in the oven. I already told you that I pre-sprayed the pan, put that down to help keep it from sticking, and the butter's going to make it a little nice uh, glaze to add on top of the pork chops when they're done. So this is going to be, the one in the middle is going to be a fried pork rind barbecue pork chop. The others will be able to use maybe sugar-free, some sugar-free sauces on those if we choose to. I actually bought a good sugar-free barbecue sauce that we might can 
use on some of those. And then these are the two that are in the skillet that we're getting ready to eat for dinner with some spinach. Let me get my little glove on and <laughs> get this in the oven here. And again, I'm going to cook them for around 25 minutes or so, but I'm going to check them at 20 to see how they're doing. So that's kind of it. Watch me set that for 20 seconds or 20 hours. I've done that before, you know, once when I was learning how to use the stove. All right, this looks like a great dinner. Um, hope you're enjoying my videos. Hope to be doing some more here and uploading some more soon. I've got a great thing that I'm doing with my cereal. It's not keto, but it's adding more protein and more nutrients to it. All right, scrab and go advice. Enjoy your dinner and have a great day. Great night.